What's up, YouTube? And welcome to my first, my first, yeah, my, my first vlog, I think. I don't know, we'll see. If I like what I do, then I'll post it. If I don't, then you will never see this. Ha. Anyways, today I'm gonna go to this event designed for International Women's Day, which is today, but when you see this, it will have already passed. But anyways, it's March and we are still in Women's History Month. Yes, Women's History Month. And I hope you enjoy this vlog. I'm gonna take you to two events here in my city, in Charlotte, and uh, yeah. Roll clip! All right, so we just got here and the panel's about to start. It's kind of packed, so I'm gonna do my best to record as much as possible and uh, I'm a little nervous carrying all this stuff around so we'll see everything that I learned at the end of this video so stay tuned to the end okay yeah. <laughs> it is a day two of the women empowerment programs that we're going to uh, yeah I'm running <laughs> a little late and my friends waiting on me so we're gonna go pick her up and then we're gonna go I'm really excited about this event because I won the two tickets on a social media contest for from Fam club here in Charlotte so I'm excited to see what they've programmed here with other shops in Charlotte and uh, let's go let's go pick up her alrighty so we are here and um, we don't have my friend because turns out she was gonna drive here and I didn't have to pick her up so <laughs> but she said she was gonna get us breakfast so we can't be that mad at her right and I'm just waiting for her so that we can go in and we can eat and it's gonna be great and I'm kind of nervous because like I said I don't this is my first time vlogging well yesterday was my first time vlogging out in public but I don't know this one is the first time in the daylight so I'm a little nervous but stay tuned yeah comment below if you think that I should be nervous out in public doing this she got us breakfast. <laughs> I guess I can forgive her now for making me go to her house. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs>
shirt. Hasn't even been an hour. And I'm already spending all my money. <laughs> I love it. Switching to the new and improved earrings that we just got from the alleyway market. <laughs> First-generation college student, um, and obviously first-generation post-grad, and so I think for me, I am inspired to just continue to climb that corporate ladder and break the barriers and break the generational cycles in my own family, um, and just be that kind of representation for others who maybe they don't want to necessarily be an entrepreneur, but they want to be in the boardroom, mm -hmm. but they look around and realize there are not a lot of brown faces or female faces. So for me, that is that really motivates me. I really want to be a vessel and a representation that we can do it. Quote that says comparison is the thief of joy. So it's like for me, maybe I got married early and then I got divorced. Maybe I went to college and then my mom got sick and I couldn't keep going. And maybe at 31, I'm trying to go back to, and like how cool and redemptive is that story gonna be at 45? Just as cool as someone who at 18 did everything like a standard way. So I think you have your own calling, you have your own gifts, no one else has those, so use them. Otherwise, what are they doing there? And that can be like easier said than done, of course. So then you have to get down to like, what is it that I want to be doing? At the end of the day, if my partner of 10 years leaves me and this person leaves me and I never thought, if I have grief, if I have depression, like what at the end of the day am I gonna want to pour back into? What do I believe that heart in? And so there has to be a heartbeat underneath it. You can do art all day, but if you don't have a heart beneath that, then what are you gonna do when your day's hard? <laughs> I don't know, so I guess find your heart beneath what you're doing and believe in it and keep doing it like she said, because at the end of the day, everyone's gonna have my body image? How do I get to a place of self-confidence and self-worth? And my biggest piece of advice is tell yourself every day that you're worthy and tell yourself every day that you love yourself. And that means literally, I want you to sit in front of that mirror. I do it naked, I'm gonna be completely honest. <laughs> and I think everyone should. And then you say, I love you. And that is the most intimate relationship that you can have right there with yourself. And that is so important because I feel like that lays the foundation for any goal that you're going to set, any kind of journey that you're gonna you're going to go on. You have to be okay in the mirror and feel confident and solid in that. So that's my biggest advice, um, along with giving yourself some grace because we all work our asses off. I don't care what you're doing, whether you're a mom, whether you work and you're a mom, or if you work or if you don't or whatever you're doing, as long as you're pursuing life and joy you're gonna get exhausted and you're gonna have those moments. So just make sure that you give yourself grace along the journey. Earlier, like, you know, when you figure out what, why God put you on this earth, it's a really powerful day because uh, I always loved art. I wanted to do art growing up. I went to art school. Um, but I was like, how do I make this like a thing? So, um, like I said, I moved to Charlotte and started bartending. That wasn't art related quite yet, but those companies let me do all their chalkboards. And I literally just started doing chalkboards for everybody in town. And um, But yeah, I think uh, you'll know, like, Steve Jobs, when he speaks to um, was it the Stanford class of 05, that's an awesome speech if you ever want to get like really pumped and motivated. But he always talks about like your heart knows what you want, like you gotta listen to it. And it's super scary, but you know, tell people about it, like talk to your friends about it and have you know those cheerleaders that you need. But, um, but yeah, you'll, you know what you want. You gotta just listen to your heart and do it. 
And there you have it, friends. Those are the two events that I went to in order to celebrate International Women's Day here in my city. I hope that you got some ideas, some motivation. I hope that you learned about some women-owned companies here in Charlotte. I mentioned all of the companies in the bottom left corner when the video was showing, but they will also be down in the description bar so you can check them out and see everything that they got to offer. Also, a huge shout out to all the panelists in both the first event and the second event. I think that they are incredible and I am so, so, so happy that they are here and they are talking about their stories and, you know, sharing their experiences so that we can get motivated as well. I wanted to go into the first panel just a little bit because I didn't get to record too much of it since it was very, very packed and it was dark and the quality wasn't that good. So I didn't want to record any of it. But basically, they talked a lot about entrepreneurship and kind of following your passions. And one of the things that they mentioned a lot was being authentic to who you are and surrounding yourselves with people that know who you are and support those dreams that you have. The second thing they talked about that I thought was really important was walking in confidence even when you don't know exactly what you're doing and that it's okay to own up to the part that you don't know exactly what you're doing because you're there and you're present and you're ready to learn and you're ready to grow and that's all that matters. The last thing I wanted to mention about the Lady Disruptors panel was basically the whole topic of leadership. A lot of them have you know these companies that they run and these team members that they have and basically i loved the definition that they made of leadership that leadership is unlocking other people's potential to be better it doesn't matter what industry you're in it's just helping those people achieve their goals and their dreams as well now for power up you saw some of my favorite moments from the panel discussion but basically it was awesome to hear the stories of these local women that are just badasses and hearing how they started and how they stay motivated there are many topics that resonated with me from this panel discussion but the first thing i wanted to talk about and i think that everybody should start practicing is when jen the muralist was saying that when she you know needs to get away or when she needs some motivation or some time for herself she has a dance party you know sometimes you need a break or sometimes you need a creative break it really depends on what you're doing but i thought it was awesome and a good idea that you should just turn on whatever music you like and shake it off and have a dance session so i think that we should all put that into practice in our daily routines but on a more serious note, the panel really got me thinking about how we are all unique and special and how everybody has their own story. We all have our own stories, our own characteristics that make us amazing. So now I'm going to challenge you to stop comparing yourself to other people and enjoy being you. You are you for a reason. You have your story for a reason and your characteristics. So I'm going to try to do a better job at that, and I hope that you do too. All right, so those are the two events that I went to. Let me know in the comment section below if you would like to know about these kind of events in advance so that I could put something together for you so that you can join me next time. But until next time, friends, be adventurous and stay confident. Bye!